Hey, MTG players, it's Eclectics, and we hit draft number 20. The good news is that we're at Diamond 1 with two pips, and we only need three wins for Mythic. The bad news is that, isn't this deja vu? Here's hoping tonight's the night. It's drafting time. No love speed, the belligerent. All right, we're not passing that. We are passing a couple of good uh, blue cards. Uh, one red, great red card, and a great blue card. So hopefully it doesn't bite us, but um, all for the belligerent. Oh, yeah. If we get hidden cataract, would be awesome. But we are going to listen to. Not really. I mean, we kind of... We kind of forced the last draft. So, let's see. I mean, we're starting off with the belligerent. Build around. If we get good cards, pick two, two, two till five. Then maybe. But we're not going to stand by the belligerent. The belligerent is really, really good though. It is really, really good. It, and it is our pack one, pick one, pick. Oh, yes. Look at this. So many good things in this pack. So, we have... This is Crew 3. Belligerent Yearling on red is awesome. Blue. We're not passing anything blue over here. We're, we're passing a lot of red, though. We're passing a lot of red. Uh, blue with this, we can still go white, blue, but this is a pretty awesome blue card. Red is going to be tough. Uh, if we ever do red, it'll be really tough because we're going to be fighting for red. Burning Sun's Cavalry and Itali's Favor, a second Itali's Favor now that we're seeing. But I think it's the Waterwind Scout pick here uh, instead of the Belligerent Yearling. There's a Defossilize here, so black might be passed, although I'm not... I don't see blue, so it's good if he can get the uh, the Pirate, but Waterwind Scout here is great. Okay, so they're passing black. They're passing black. I think I'm not ignoring black. If we wield the Defossilize, right, which has a very good chance, a, a very good shot at wheeling... We might get there because, again, we're passing red. We're passing red. Black. This is the first kind of black that we're looking at. So our neighbors here aren't black. We might even get the death cap uh, marionette here. Four on the Dinatomaton is great with the belligerent earling, but... I mean, we can't ignore black, right? Or do we? Do we just keep passing black and cut off red? No, I think we shift to, uh, to black. Ah, no. <laughs> oh, crap. Now we got another defossilized. Yep. So this is... Defossilize or continue with the blue train or the red train. I mean, if we get the defossilize, it's great. But I think this is a black uh, pack. Not seeing blue. That's kind of scary. Not seeing blue. Nope. Here's blue. All right. So red and... Okay. Uh, I pick blue, red. Sure. I'm okay with this pick. This is a pretty good pick. Dinatomaton. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, they're passing red. Great. Oh, stay on course. Phew. All right. We might get Itali's, uh, a bunch of Itali's favor back. Yeah. All right. Cool. Look at this. Blazing, braid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. 
No, we need yeah that. All right, sure. Daring discovery, not really. The standard is fine. Yes, Wailing Pirates. Thank you. Thank you very much. Itali's favor. Come on. Itali's favor. I know you're in here. Itali's favor. Itali's favor. Nick Bartowski. Bartowski. Come on. We're looking for the siren, Captain Storm. Sunbird Standard on three, and then Wailing Pirates on four is just mm, mucho. That's not bad as well. Defossilize here, though. <laughs> getting defossilizes I mean hotfoot gnome can can come in I was saying though defossilize wheeling like that that's kind of bad we're taking you for sure first two drop but it's an important two drop and that wheeling is great, is awesome. Now all we need is Captain Storm and this deck is fire. All right, I don't want you to do a fanatical offering. Yeah, no. Ooh, yeah. We're hot. We're sold on threes. But wow, that was an awesome pick. Pick 13. Idol of the Deep King. Fire. Dracosaur. Pugnacious. Wow, we can still be green. We can still be green. Because there is no awesome. Uh. Well, no, not really. There's a pretty good Dreadmaw's Ire here. I mean, this is just. Wow. We're passing Pugnacious. I can't believe that. Can we, uh, can we, uh, can we splash it? I think we can splash it, right? Yeah, I think we can splash Pugnacious. Pugnacious is too good. Lodestone Needle, yeah. If we had Dreadmaw's Ire, though, that would have been so good, but. Yeah, Lodestone Needle here is excellent. All right, cool. A Braid versus Waterwind Scout. We can do without a Braid, right? But the Waterwind Scout is really, really good. Okay, no. Taking our first upgrade. We are kind of doing it. It's either the pickaxe or the scythe claw raptor. I think it's the scythe claw raptor. We're getting rewarded here so much. It's either Brackish or Itali's favor. Are we too greedy on threes? Brackish is a really, really good. Uh, yeah, it's a really, really good. 
uh, spell, so Itali's favorite might actually wheel. We are hot on three, so Brackish as a spell is much better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shipwreck Sentry. Oh, wait, there's a perfectly good Triumph and Chomp over here. Yeah, we'll take Triumph and Chomp. Over a shipwreck sentry, yes, yes, please. Kaparokti versus maybe we do Kaparokti because it's just a really awesome card. All right, we got a couple of things to uh splash pick eight. Wow, whaling pirates, yes, please. Tali's favor. Wow. Okay. If we are playing the Sunbird standard, I'm 100% playing Kaparokti and Pugnacious, maybe. Yeah. Maybe not, but this is an option. Mm hmm. We need two drops though. That's an awesome pickup. Right, so we don't even want you. Yeah, we definitely don't need Kaparakti. Whoa, another one. Okay. Ooh, what? This completes the deck. Now we need improvements for pack three, which is. Uh, if we open a Dracosaur, please, uh, whatchamacallit, even a pirate's hat. Okay, roaming throne, sure. So it's either a roaming throne or a staunch crewmate. Staunch crewmate, no, I'll take a roaming throne here, because if we do humans... We basically go humans and double thing on the pirate, double trigger on the pirate. Oh, if we get uh, lucky with uh, this girl, uh, Captain Storm, Captain Storm will double trigger. Yeah, we are passing staunch crewmate though, which is kind of bad. And rumbling rock slide with unlucky draw but rumbling rock slide has a very good chance to wheel it does it has a very good chance to wheel what are we cutting we're probably cutting the sunbird standard because it's not required or the hot foot gnome looking like this right now Maybe this for the hot foot gnome. No, like this. This is fine with me. So it's this versus, because this is a trick, a pretty good trick. Versus a one. Uh, three, four. Trick versus Chomp. I think we'll take the trick. Take the trick, right? Loses all abilities versus this. No. Take the trick. Because we're not primarily a dino deck mm, that's actually okay do we are full up artifact count is eight that's pretty good though though we don't really need it we need the oaken siren more maybe we'll get a zoetic glyph
first is burning sun's cavalry yeah we don't really need a burning sun's cavalry we'll put you in the back seat in the back pocket or maybe instead of a pirate hat it's brackish yeah yeah i'm good with that so we can keep tempoing um maybe we want yeah we want a two drop no two drops here there's a captivating cave though we don't have caves yet that's pretty good so we can improve our stuff it's not really required or is it I mean it does improve the deck are we getting Captain Storm nope we're getting another three drop sure wow okay take a squirming emergence rare draft here sure and no captain storm that's kind of sad Ooh, inverted iceberg is pretty good I knew it. Rumbling Rock Slide actually wield. All right. We're going to have to see. Unlucky Drop versus Rumbling Rock Slide. Mm -hmm. Even got the two drop. We even have chart of course here if we want versus a chomp I think we take removal yeah we take removal hmm and we got oh hermetic nautilus versus an unlucky drop A pirate hat awesome we already have a pirate hat maybe daring discovery oh we have this as well so the only thing we didn't get is a is captain storm but this is a pretty good duck so let's see Twenty nine. What are we taking out? Chomp, rumbling rock slide. I think rumbling rock slide goes. I think shipwreck sentry goes. How many artifacts do we have? Nine. Probably a medic nautilus. Is it better than Shipwreck Sentry? Is the question. Yeah, it's better than Shipwreck Sentry. So our tricks are these. If we're going to go with a couple of Triumphant Chomps, then Panicked Altasaur is it but goblin tomb raider also is not great because we're not too fast we're not very very fast here's eaten by piranhas but i think brackish blunder is better we're gonna tempo right yeah we're gonna go tempo 
we take out inverted iceberg, I think that's better as well. We have a lot of incidental artifacts. This can be used for crewing. Is the thing. And also, it's... Uh, we can do it like this, three, right? Because our top end is the panicked altasaur. Or is it better for us to just... E17, so we cut one more thing. One triumphant chomp in favor of brackish blunder. Yeah. Okay. We have a lot of uh, stuff. Compass known better than the uh, the goblin for damage. It is a haster though. Yeah, I think this is fine. We did not get plundering pirates. We didn't get plundering pirates. The uh, the one with the 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 one that creates uh, tokens. Let's see. Maybe it's bad not to have the shipwreck sentry on too. But we have hermetic Naut nautilus. I think it's fine. All right, we're going to grab this. Don't have black. Red and blue, sure. Then it's really, uh, Merfolk Scout. You didn't get the pirate. So the problem with this is that our creatures are just twos, huh? Well, threes, Blade, Blade Master is a two as well. This is crew three. The belligerent is crew three. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe that's a mistake, though. We need something that can crew this. If you have this on board... I think maybe Triumphant Chomp is not the way. Uh, or Brackish. Only in those games. We're at 3.1. I think it's fine. Alright, we'll do this. All right. We'll try it out. The belligerent. We're not too fast, but the belligerent will let us keep doing stuff. There was a pick with the pickaxe versus the dino, I think it's the dino for me, yeah. It's a dino. Dino's feeder. So Triumphant Chomp has a pretty good ceiling. It can hit fours. Yeah.
attack. Artifact or yeah, it's a brain. It's a brain. Yeah. Totally fine. Let's hope to draw land. All right, we got it. Braid? Another one? Hmm, he had a Wadley's. That's fine. He's got removal. Alright. He's gonna kill something, right? If this works though, should be okay. Okay. So you brackish. It's eight, ten. I don't know what, what he has, but he if he reacts, right? Yeah, if he reacts, he'll take four. He'll be down six. Cute. Right. Whoo. That was a very strong game one. Very strong game one. Although we did not draw a lot of lands, still good because we don't really need a lot of lands, so we stick with 17. Yeah, 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 yeah. Belligerent kind of, because we have a lot of fours. I think it's correct. Yeah, it's still correct because our life starts at four. So we get to four, it's fine on four. Peanut. We do want early game, like we really need early game. Like 
this one is okay, but we need more lands. And our lands are alive. Please draw lands in two turns. If we draw land in two turns, please. Lands, lands, lands. Really need lands. Really need lands here. If you don't draw a land, and we lost <sighs> magic, 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 magic. He accelerated his uh, mana, and now we're supposed to take five. We're screwed. We are definitely screwed. Even if we draw one, but he's also screwed on another color, which is probably red. Don't cast anything. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I was just saying lands, but we have 17, man. We have 17. Come on. Come on. Don't do this to me. Come on, dude. Come on, magic. Come on, 17 lands. Our life starts at three, sure. Oh, come on. I was supposed to mulligan that. Three, three draws, man. Three draws. Not a great showing. Not a great showing, man. Not a great showing. Now we don't have blue. And I go first. I'll keep it because if we draw one land, again, we don't start on... Please draw blue. Now we have three, but now we need a, 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 a fourth land to be able to start. Oh, great. This is good. We drew into one of a use, use one usable card. Thank you. The wedding cliff is going to destroy us, though. If he attacks, what could he have? can race right oh okay that's totally fine that is totally fine i think we can go ahead and put up yeah we're gonna do the dinotomaton instead of the waylaying pirates because it's four and it has menace we're up against red as well, though. He can petrify it. Mm. 
We drew the belligerent again. Nice. And we we didn't fail with one. With one land. Discard one, please. Can I please react to this? Can I please react to it? Because I would like to crew as a reaction. ETV reaction. Hello? It already needs to be a creature? No. I need to target this. Land? Land on top? Oh, I have that. And we can't. Um, can we map? If we map right now, four will improve to a five. Uh, but we can use this later on for, yep, we can have a tap needle. So if this attacks, right, create a treasure token, we can do lodestone needle. So that, that was not a great play. Man, our hand is so stacked. Depends on what he has, but our hand is stacked. Crazy. Crazy stacked. Mural? Mural's your best for five. Right? Okay, that's his best one. Okay. Stone needle. Yeah, we'll do load stone needle. It is so stacked. Our hand is so stacked. Yeah, he's dead. Ooh. He knows it. 
but we have whaling pirates as well so we're gonna uh on that board we're gonna tap this tap this we're attacking for three four five uh he'll be able to block one so he'll block this and we got nine damage on board all right cool wonder what would happen if we didn't draw uh the the island i'd erupt again but man come on come on come on please give us a good hand give us a good hand the belligerent uh i don't know just give us a good hand to even the uh the guy who fetches the uh the land is fine if we're on two with that guy three should be okay right but we start with like Ooh. two land again and i go first we have plays though i think i'm gonna keep it Awesome. Artifacts. Crap, I should have uh, brackished that. That was bad. That was pretty bad. So it's still tapped. You can't really do this if we brackish. Uh, we're just gonna attack this, right? Does he have it? for lands oh okay no he's not he's stripped on lands i don't know we can have since he didn't play anything he can have what exactly saw blades probably maybe brackish for what guardian okay that's fine This one with artifacts, so 
sneaking actually attack and then brackish something right die anyway, right? So human, human, uh, explore, sure. Apply next art class human right human if it's not their turn what does he have I don't know what he has but I think he needs to I think dinosaur Okay. He's got seven. He can also pump this dude. We have four in the pocket right now, so he's uh technically at seven. He's probably gonna do that, right? If he decides to nope, he doesn't. What is this? That's totally fine. No, I didn't ping. She 
Sheesh. Really crap. I did not think, man. I did not think. Sure. Awesome. Take eight. Wait. You casted something and You casted something and it didn't... When player casts a spell, if it's not their turn... Oh, it is their turn. Wow, you lucky gonga. Really? No, he was so lucky. He got the blades. What the heck? Wait, can I craft this? I can't actually craft this. If I craft this, what happens? Nine, two. Uh, he can actually destroy all. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six. What the heck, man? Seriously. If we do this right, then God should be at seven, virtually at seven. Crew one, virtually at seven and we can't. Should be at five, but I forgot. I totally forgot. Six, four, you can pump your guardian. Oh yeah, her not winning this. If we're drawing so badly. So we even did. Uh, dino. Just because we had the dino. But if we now draw Wailing Pirates. We should be better. With the Wailing Pirates. We're at the mercy now. So, what's he gonna do? He's gonna be able to remove three, all three. This is just gonna attack. Oh, that was so bad. So, I missed two damage. Now he can craft that. No, he doesn't have an artifact. Well, he can craft it with that. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, we're definitely screwed. We 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 weren't able to do anything in this uh, in this matchup, unfortunately. So five six. I mean, we knew this. Five five four, four three six five. We I I didn't even think about that. So now we should be left with one. But now we can't. So, yeah, misplay. The misplay was so big. Why, uh, why am I getting punished? I got punished so hard. He's at five. Enter tap. No. Maybe you don't see it. So what happened really here was number one, we got screwed with the play of the lodestone with the brackish. Yeah, the play with the so that was the the major punt. The major punt was um. Yeah, we uh, we're gonna concede. We uh did the uh, lodestone instead of the brackish. If we had just done the brackish, we'd be able to crash in for three. That was the mistake. That was the big mistake. That was the whole other ball game mistake there. We should have brackished instead of lodestone. But I was greedy. I was like, oh, we can get a map token. That was me being greedy, not thinking about the, uh, the tra I really should have thought about that more. I really should have. Then we would have had a better chance. Because we, uh, yeah, we have a really, really good deck. But I'm playing very poorly right now. I'm really pe uh, playing very poorly. Again, we don't have red. We have a lot of red, right? We're going to keep it. Please draw red. Yeah, like that. Kind of. It's difficult to raise like this, but... This is four damage versus one. Four damage versus one. I think we'll try and see if we can push this like this. Brackish or something. Yeah, you're attacking for one, sure. Okay. We managed to get out of it. Um That was a mistake oh my god oh my god oh my god what an idiot what an idiot
Okay, again, pretty bad. If he attacks, that's one. Nope. Yacht five. or something bottom so we can kill that or we can tempo not really we're just gonna do this man tectonic is so good in this board yeah, here we are. Five white again. Wants to scry, sure.
remember to ping. Yeah, please ping. So we'll be able to do that. Six four still good. Four four we'll be able to tap. Need another sort of tapper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need a braid. A braid. I can shift this over. Oh, it's over. Oh, two dinos, but it stopped. What? He just drew that. He just drew that. Alright. We need 
a game, a game, a game for Mythic. Wow. Wow. I thought we didn't have that. Two again, we don't have, but we have red. Yeah, sure. Why are we getting these horrible hands? Please. Blue, 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 island, please, island, 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 island will unlock this hand. Island will unlock this hand. Island, island! At least this, this is fine. Island, please, island, please, island, please, island, please, island, please. delayed we got the island but please draw more islands i need an island wow seriously that's nine yeah well, yeah we got we got the we got the juice we just don't have the island and we just lost this Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! And our opponent having everything. Poetic ingenuity. Hot foot gnome. So disgusting. What? What, well, um, actually, if we had this out, right? If we had played this instead of that, we would have been more screwed. Three ones. Ridiculous. The decks we came across were... Well, this one was, was, yeah, this was just a strong deck. This is a ridiculous deck with poetic ingenuity and a couple of, couple of, uh, removals in hand. Artifact, 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 poetic ingenuity. 
Poetic ingenuity, artifact, artifact. Disgusting. So we didn't go anywhere with this draft, although I was very happy with the draft. Really, really happy with the draft. It's just that, yeah, we, we face really, really strong decks. Um, three Wailing Pirates meant that we were pretty much tempoing, but yeah, not like that. We don't tempo if we don't have lands, man. We got two, uh, two rares. Roaming Throne and the Belligerent, but damn. Two of our losses were a bit... The... I, I believe the, um... Uh, I believe the third loss would not have been a loss if we drew into a land. We So the reason why I kept it, we were on the draw. We were not on the play. We were on the draw. The chance to draw into a fourth land was very high. Drawing into specifically an island was more unlikely but the chance was so high it was so high ridiculously high we already had three mountains so the chance of drawing an island was so high it was it was the highest on the deck like what kind of chance do you want to take from that I mean, come on. Twin, it was like 24% or something. Why won't you take those odds? But the odds in the, the higher ranks, it's, it's losing or winning. So basically, since we didn't draw a fourth land, specifically an island, we lost. But we had the gas. We had it. We had everything we needed to win. We even drew a triumphant charm to get rid of his uh, first. But he opened with a... Yeah, he opened with an artifact into poetic ingenuity. Yeah, we, we whiffed island. That's in those kind of hands where you really think about mulligans. But mulligans on limited, ah, it's deck. You do you did me dirty, deck. You really did me dirty. You, uh, I made sure that we had seventeen lands so that I can keep drawing lands because we we built you with three point one in mind didn't take in triumphant chomp didn't take in rumbling rock slide it's so that we can go ahead and 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 maybe we should have maybe we should have and in that one turn where we had idol of the deep king and then waylaying pirates without an artifact that was kind of a mistake but we still kind of won that game yeah. In any case, we got uh, five rares in this draft. The Pugnacious, Bedrock Tortoise, and the Restless Vents. We had another chance for a Restless Vents, but we, we had a better pick that... Uh, we had a better pick, basically couple of brackish blunders which we did not actually that was so such a mistake like brackish blunder that anyway let's claim thanks for watching if you have better plays comment below and let me know like and subscribe for more magic the gathering content i'll see you on the next one